Hello dear students, in this lecture we will be discussing some basic requirements of a tissue culture lab and we will be focusing on autoclave and laminar flow cabinet which is the foremost requirement of any tissue culture laboratory. So besides uh, laminar flow and tissue culture, um, besides laminar flow and autoclave, there are other requirements uh, which are must in a tissue culture lab and these are these blue cap bottles which comes in various sizes. These are autoclavable because sterilized instruments and glassware and media is required for um, uh, tissue culture laboratory. So these are um, these bottles which have blue cap, they are autoclavable and they are a must requirement of a tissue culture lab then these are your micro tips and these are your micro pipettes which comes in various sizes so these are requirements these are required for taking hormones and uh, antibiotics and other uh, chemicals which are required in tissue culture media then these are uh, micro centrifuge tubes this is also required to take to make hormones and other uh, chemicals and these are your um, boxes which are used to keep uh, tips, micro tips, which comes in various sizes. And these are your up and up stands. And we will be focusing on autoclave today. So what is autoclave? This is an autoclave. And autoclave is used, uh, it is used to sterilize equipments and uh, to sterilize glassware, chemicals, media uh, and other uh, things which are used in a tissue culture lab. So what is an autoclave? It is autoclave is nothing but it is like a, a bigger pressure cooker and it is a machine that uses steam under pressure to kill harmful bacteria, viruses, fungi, uh, spores on uh, items that are placed in a pressure vessel or which are used in tissue culture lab and these items are heated to an appropriate sterilization temperature for a given amount of time so what is the temperature the temperature is generally 1 to 121 degrees celsius and the pressure uh, kept under this autoclave is 15 pounds so autoclave uses a saturated steam under pressure of approximately 15 pounds per square inch to achieve a temperature uh, which is basically 121 degree celsius or 250 degree fahrenheit for a prescribed time generally we keep it for uh, 15 minutes or 30 minutes or 60 minutes depending upon what autoclave um, we are using which um, manufacturer has provided us the autoclave and what are the requirements of that on autoclave so this was the basic introduction of autoclave now, here in this slide, you can see that there are various kinds of autoclaves which are available in market and this is a pressure cooker type, this is a vertical autoclave, this is a horizontal autoclave and uh, these are two more autoclaves which are used in uh, hospitals or other um, uh, uh, pharmaceutical industries. But for our tissue culture lab, either we use a vertical vertical autoclave, a pressure cooker autoclave or a horizontal autoclave and these are the components of autoclave. We have a autoclave body, then there is a lid. On the lid we have a pressure gauge which shows the pressure. Then you have a pressure regulating device. There is a safety valve, there is a, a steam release valve vacuum release valve and this is a stand so in a tissue culture lab the maintenance of aseptic conditions is absolutely necessary and autoclave which is known as a steam sterilizer is the most effective machine which is used for sterilization of lab equipment water or media which is used in tissue culture lab autoclave uses steam under pressure to kill bacteria, viruses and spores which are present on the equipment or cultural media. It works on the principle of moist heat sterilization 
the high pressure inside the chamber increases the boiling point of water for sterilization of equipment and it ensures that the rapid penetration of heat in deeper parts of equipment the moisture which is present in the steam causes coagulation of proteins of microbes causing irreversible loss of their activity and functions and thus kills them and sterilizes the the um, equipment or the media or the water which is kept inside this autoclave so this was the basic introduction of autoclave and the basic principle of autoclave so the next requirement of a tissue culture lab is your laminar flow cabinet and what is a laminar flow cabinet laminar flow cabinet is a tissue culture hood uh, which is partially enclosed bench work station designed to prevent contamination of biological samples in this laminar flow cabinet the air is drawn through a hepa filter what is hepa filter it is high efficiency particulate air filter which is, air is drawn through this hepa filter and blown in a very uh, smooth laminar flow in a narrow vertical curtain separating the interior of the cabinet from the environment around it so using the blower or fan the device sucks in room air from the front or top of the device the air passes through the pre filter or filter pad which captures the large dust particles from the air then it goes through the hepa filter which is high efficiency particulate air filter this filters out the fine particles and microbes and that filtered air then pours into the enclosures and washes over the work surface clearing it of any suspended part particles and microbes and uh, then there is a uv lamp also present in this laminar flow cabinet which further sterilizes the work area by uh, killing all the uh, microbes which are present um, because on exposure uh, to uv rays um, the microbes which are present uh, they are killed in this flow cabinet so these are the two basic requirements of laminar flow uh, of a tissue culture lab which is your laminar flow cabinet and autoclave and we will be discussing uh, this more in um, class so so as we have just discussed a laminar flow cabinet consists of many parts the first part is your cabinet which provides uh, insulation to the in inner environment and uh, the second part is your working station which is a flat working station uh, and this is present inside the cabinet for uh, all the processes to be taken place inside it then third part is filter pad or pre filter uh, which is present on the top of the cabinet which uh, through which the air passes through the cabinet then fourth part is fan or blower which is present below the filter pa pad that sucks in air and moves it around the cabinet then next is your uv lamp uh, in some laminar flow the uv lamp is provided and in some they are not provided uh, which kills the microbes which are present inside the um, um, cabinet and then there is a fluorescent lamp which helps in uh, giving proper light during the operation and the most important part is your hepa filters which are present inside the um, laminar flow uh, hepa filter is high efficiency particulate air filter uh, which is present within the cabinet that makes the environment more sterile for the operation so the pre-filtered air passes through the filter which traps fungi bacteria and other dust particles and the filter ensures sterile conditions inside the cabinet which reduces the chances of contamination so here you can see the two pictures uh, so uh, this is a horizontal laminar flow cabinet and these are the hepa filters which helps in ensuring the aseptic conditions when we are in working inside this air uh, laminar flow 
and uh, these are two more diagrams and this is the picture of the laminar flow cabinet. So you can refer uh, books to understand this topic uh, better and uh, thank you students let us meet in the next lecture.